Every great print starts the same way. A quiet home, a heated bed, and an idea that's about to take shape. 12 kilograms of filament, countless layers waiting to build something iconic. It's the kind of project that reminds you why you started printing in the first place. That feeling when an idea becomes real. Six days, 160 hours of printing, and one mission to bring Marvin the Martian to life. With every big print, there's that moment when you look at all your parts and you wonder how it's going to come together. And I have to say, I think Marvin turned out pretty good. Marvin the Martian, three foot of cosmic determination in Sunlu PLA, printed at 480% scale. Every mission starts with a solid foundation, and in Marvin's case, it's all about the shoes. I printed these heavier, higher infill, extra walls, because a three foot Martian can't skip leg day. These were printed the same way I did the feet. They were printed heavier, higher infill, extra walls, and that is because it is the basis of the entire model. When you're printing at this scale, it's important to have things supported. Because if this comes apart, our whole model is probably going to fall apart. And my Bamboo Lab H2D ran perfectly for this. I utilized a Fetus High Flow Hot End and the ArcFly build plate, no warpage. Everything turned out fantastic. The torso is where things got a little interesting. It failed three times, and I realized that an unsupported arm section kept collapsing. So this piece here had a support that looked like that, and it would sit in place, and when it sat in place, it would allow the elbow to print and the arm to continue to print. This kept shifting, it kept breaking, so I had to get a little creative. So mid-print, I did what every self-respecting uh, 3D printer person would do, and I grabbed some super glue and improvised. It worked great. And you really can't see where it is messed up. So Wiley and I are bringing you today's video sponsor. It is PCBWay, PCBWay.com. Jump online, take a look. If you need PCBs, CNC services, or 3D printing, PCBWay is a great option. Their website is easy to use. Upload your STLs. Customer service is fantastic. Shipping is also equally as good. So check them out. PCBWay, PCBWay.com. Finally, the part that makes Marvin Marvin, and that is his head. Once we got the face glued into the helmet, we got the visor installed, we got the broom mounted on top, and then it really gives that classic Marvin look. We were able to attach it to the top of the torso, and this is where things really fell into place, and it was just like watching those old cartoons as a kid. Marvin was one of my favorite characters. It's always really liked space and things like that, and uh, for whatever reason, you know, when Looney Tunes was on, Marvin was my guy. So credit to Red Dad Steve on Maker World. He is responsible for this model. There are a number of other great models that he has as well. We're gonna take a look at some of them and I will probably print those large as well. But this thing turned out fantastic, scaled to 480%. Didn't have any issues getting it to scale appropriately as well. The model was just very well designed and everything fit the way it should. So thanks again, link down below uh, if you're interested in any of his models. One of the coolest things about this whole project is being able to take that childhood character that you really liked and print something life-size and you know make it look real. When you're a kid, you never would have thought that this was possible. And what I think is really cool is my daughter drew this. So it's so cool to see the inspiration that comes from printing something large, showing them things that you're interested in, and then seeing them turn around and do their own pictures and get uh, super excited about what you're building and things like that. That really is what, to me, 3D printing is all about. Being able to share stuff with everybody and just you know having these huge prints come to life is so cool. It is by far one of my favorite things to do when it comes to 3D printing is printing large and printing things you know life size. Three foot tall, 12 kilograms of filament, a couple of failed prints, lots of coffee, and Marvin's officially mission ready. Huge thanks to Sunlu for supplying the PLA 2.0 that I used to Fetus for the hot end and the build plate. Everything worked flawlessly. I'll have a more in-depth video actually of the Fetus hot end and the build plate coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. So I guess you could say that this was a giant success, a life-size Marvin Martian. Now I've got to figure out where I'm going to actually, where I'm going to actually put them. I have no idea. Okay, so we'll have to figure that one out. 
But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. Love to hear from you. Let me know what you guys think of this. I'm going to try and do more big prints. Uh, I did a Wiley a while ago. Um, he was my experimental uh, prints. I used the Orange Storm Giga for that, and it didn't, uh, didn't cooperate fully. So we'll talk more about that in another video as well. But please like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate each and every one of you. See ya.